Hello everyone. This is going to be the 17th devlog of Great Marble Adventure. And instead of making it just a preview of a gameplay or similar stuff, I'm going to narrate this one. And yes, this project is not dead. I'm still working in this project for it's been nine months actually since I started making this. And since then it has undergone a lot of changes and there are a lot of new stuff I added to this. So for the first uh the first is that there's nothing different here. But in the settings now you can change the in the key configuration setting I mean you can change between the movement or the camera. So you can now change the camera and you can control the camera using your keyboard. And there is also options to set the sensitivity both for the keyboard and the mouse and whether you want to invert the axis or not. And also show every single option description now also show the default control. So if you forget what the default control is, you can just look up look below. And now uh, in, uh, since part by from PQ, there is another section in the option menu to whether disable, whether display or disable displaying the linear zeros. So for this one, if there is no linear zero that will be displayed, and for this one, there will be linear zero was for timer, and this is for gem, and it's both of them. So if you don't have, uh, there's no no linear zeros. Uh, the game will just show like there's no linear zeros. So like for example, for time it's just 5.67 seconds that instead of 0, 0, 0, 0 something. For the gems it's like 12, uh, one out out of 20 instead of 0, 1 out of 20. And that's for the first stuff changes. And now if you select the game start, you will be greeted by marble skins. Now you can change the marble skin. So there are 15 skins for now. As you can see, there are a lot. And yes, this is inspired by Marblas Ultra. And I thought this is the most convenient way to say this, uh, to show off the Marble skins. There are 15 of them for now. So I'm just going to use the pot. Also now, this menu only show the easy, normal, and hard. How many of them has been completed and nothing else. So I'm gonna select chapter one, and now the, the chapter table is also set here, and there is another button here, which shows about skins to complete the level. So for now, only this level, ha this level, and this particular difficulty has the hint. I haven't made the hint for all of the all of the others level, and now the difficulty also has been re-rated for easy, normal, and hard. So that now the difficulty rating will be 1 to 20 instead of 1 to 12 from the original DLC. So now I'm gonna play the easy version of Upper Swivel and the normal version of the Upper Swivel. And now the difficulty also shows here. And notice that the hub trigger hub message is also changed the layout, I mean. And now there's an exclamation mark for uh, hub trigger, so you know what's going on. Also, the UI is mostly changed, changed now. It's been later. And without the zero, everything looks more clear. And now there's finished animation and the marble being dragged to the finish map, as shown in the last step one. And the leading zero, the absence of leading zero also showed for every single uh, time. So, including here or in the battle track mode that was shown. And now after you complete the level, there will be another hint display on how to, on how to finish the level to get the, perf the yellow perfect rank. So I'm going to show you how to get the yellow perfect rank for this level. Go! Super Judge! Checkpoint! Yellow perfect is very easy though. Yes, now you've completed the level perfectly. 
So I aim to make the yellow perfect. The metal time to get yellow perfect. It's not that hard, but it's still not easy. I mean, like in the fair balance difficulty, because it, uh, introducing the new introduced in this new in this GMA. There is another perfect, which is red perfect. So red perfect is very similar to awesome time in platinum quest except that you have to complete level without getting out of bounds or using quick respawn and you have to beat the prof the awesome time which i don't name every i didn't name it awesome time it's still metal time but in the game in development i name it awesome time so because red here is very similar to awesome time in platinum quest and in order to know what's the requirement to get the red perfect, you have to play it and beat the level as fast as possible until you beat it. Uh, in Great Marble Adventure, the, the time to get the red perfect is equivalent to ultimate, ultimate time. So it's not that crazy as awesome time in Platinum Quest, but let's see. And for this particular level, I'll just reveal the ultimate. Uh, the, Red perfect time is 10 seconds. It's crazy because you, because the hint said you have to get the first time travel, which is quite hard to get. Three, also, by the way, if you seven, notice, I forget to mention gold. this level has been uh, changed Super layout. I mean, this section because there will be no checkpoint. Uh, uh, what is trap doors in that area? Three, seven, I replace it with the. Gold. Thing. This is to make sure that this is really uh, doable for beginners. And I also make every single easy level very, very easy for beginners. I mean, like I want the beginners to be able to complete level, and for hard levels, hard version of it. I got that, but it's I want. Like some of them. Set, go. Super jump. Oh, yeah, for that, I forgot I need to lower my weight first go. before I jump, so I didn't turn, try to jump, so I don't need to do this. And not, not jumping there, I forget. Set, go. Oh, yeah, by the way, this music has changed. I mean, Super like, jump. I made another version of this track. For this game, Check different from time the trouble. original DLC. Time yeah, I still have perfect here. And the yellow perfect here, because the red perfect is 10 seconds. Ready. I only able to get it once because I have to do really fast. Super jump. Check point. Oh my god, this is so hard. Three, yeah, I'm not really a good go. Marvel player anyway. So, ultimate time is so hard. Super Only for some levels. If I want, I go. can just go to go use Super Gem and grab the first time travel. Super Gem. Ready, it's possible, but you have to get the uh, finish. Go. I never tried that part though. Super jump. Check point. Set. Go. Super jump. Check point. Anyway, I'm not going to, to do this because I cannot do it for now. So I get that all for this update oh yeah by the way the the all of the easy and hard levels for chapter one has been completely made so everything has been made including this hard version which is Set. quite hard honestly and the easy version has been uh, nerfed a lot 
in terms of difficulty but normal so this means that the next demo will be coming soon when it will be when it will come probably after my final because I'll be having finals in two, two weeks and I've been developing it quite a lot before that so I can have my time to study after this so this is also probably going to be the last devlog before my uh, final exam and the development will continue after I finish my final exam and hopefully the demo will be available afterwards because I still have to make description and hints for all the platforms oh yeah by the way Mirror Supreme is changed into Hazard Supreme for this game version because actually Mirror Supreme is a sequel to Sand Supreme and Sand Supreme is unlocked it's not a late level in this game, it's chapter 2 extra because it's extra from GLC2 alright I guess that's all that I can show here oh uh, yeah this has been it, this, is, this thing is now still all working and I guess that's all thank you for watching and see you in the next vlog